Hi there guys, welcome to the Farron channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my 24 hour mining results for Dero. Okay guys, so I have been mining for a little bit over 24 hours now on the community pool. So what I would recommend for a lot of you guys is I did notice in my comment section when I did the how to mine video for this is that a few people were saying that they were setting up the wallets through uh, the pool. So as you can see this would be the wallet here. Now, a lot of people were saying that when they were setting it up, uh, they may have not filled it in correctly, or they've you know lost transactions uh, because of you know using you know this specific wallet. I don't know whether this wallet is a good or bad wallet, but I would recommend that for this specific time, just make sure that you guys are checking out and using the Dero wallet that's integrated into your Trade Ogre because you know, like I say, it is integrated and it is yours and you're not going to lose it and as you can see there, uh, I, I have been repaid in there as of today and I have been paid in there, you know, yesterday as well so, like I say, if you can see that there make sure you keep your eyes on it and, you know, use your trade over instead of using the other wallet just to save yourself from having any ever so slight issues and things like that. And okay, so taking a little look over at the Dero coin market cap for the past 24 hours, so as you can see, it's 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 gone down just ever so slightly two to three percent you know ever so often you know bit by bit throughout the day but let's have a little look over on the seven day chart and on the seven day chart it's already up and in comparison to where it has been you know for the past few weeks let's go even further back yeah exactly yeah so as mentioned because i showed this in my previous video because i like to keep up to date every so often with these videos they're like a little bit of a uh like a bit of a, like a diary for me to catch back up and I can see where the prices were and, and things like that especially for myself I will forget but as you can see here it is currently green at the moment and when you actually do see when it comes to the amount of hash rate that I've put on there I decided to put on three of my rigs I took them off of you know mining Haven coin I took them off of mining Petorium I took them off of mining Raptarium just purely because when I first started mining on this pool there was only around about 200 and 77 people mine on the actual pool if I remember correctly So let me just show you where you can actually see this so I think it was on the windows And then it shows you how many people are actually connected to the pool now When when I, when I first connected to the pool there was only 277 people and Then within you know I went to sleep and then by the time that I woke up there was 2777 people, you know, you know miners connected to this pool um, and I think that was let's look at the date here yeah that was yesterday that was that massive bump that's there and as you can see there so you know I do personally believe that there is something in Dero that, you know, that I'm not even fully 100% sure about yet. I am aware that it's like a solo mining and then we're kind of like uh, connecting in and you know, jumping in. But I, I saw in one of my previous comments that somebody was you know worried you know because they hadn't been you know getting paid and things like that from their Dero. Um, and then as, as mentioned in the previous clip just there, um, they did mention that they was also using the wallet that was provided from these guys. So as I just mentioned again, make sure to use the integrated wallet because it is, seems to be working fine. I'm getting paid through that way uh, and I can't see why there'd be any issues. Like I say, with certain other cryptocurrencies, I wouldn't say there's any issue uh, to use you know with these wallets or anything like that but the thing is you, you you could download yourself you know a virus or something like that i'm not saying dero is but i'm just saying be very very careful so the fact that you know there was 200 2700 you know individuals you know that were actually connected up to this pool at one point i've decided to keep mine on there because that is quite a huge you know spike of people to jump on there for let's say if, even if they're even if they're not interested so let's take a look over at the pool page so you can actually see the stats now I wasn't actually aware of how I could find out what my stats were how much money that I earned and things like that I was struggling to try and understand that but I did notice that there is a little box here where you can go ahead and fill in your mine address and stats and then put in your password now I don't have a password I don't know that I do know the miner address but I tried to do the you, you'll find your password in the comment field of your last payout transaction but then when I took a look, uh, you know, look over at my, you know, Dero transaction, it just gives me the transaction ID. Then doing a little bit more of research, it said to, if for example, use the if one of your last three withdrawals was zero point nine eight seven, the password would be zero nine eight seven. So I went back over to the pool. 
So then I copied the the actual last bit of amount that I got paid. So that was zero two eight six, and then I took myself back over to the actual. Let's have a little look over here onto the actual screen, and then I scrolled down to wherever that GUI went to, and then I did try to put it into there, but either way, I did notice. That it wasn't actually physically, you know, working. When you know when I did actually try. So, let me just get my dear address, and we'll give it one more shot, just live sort of thing for you guys, so you can actually see uh, whether this, you know, is the way you actually do it. Oh yeah, it actually worked this time. I think. No, no. I don't think so. I think someone just started up mining. Yeah, I think that's it. IP logged. Wrong password. Yeah, so for some weird reason, unless you guys have seen in the comments, or, or, or should I say, you guys can you know, know how to do it, and I'm completely blind, then definitely let me know in the comments how I can connect my pool to this. But what I did find was something else. So it was called uh, dearahist.io, and I was able to pop in my wallet address up here. And then it's basically given me some stats on how much you know I've kind of you know earned uh, in a little bit I think I may be completely wrong so let's have a look because it says here you know your daily gain now I know for a fact that I haven't received 1.5 1.35 total dero at all so I'm not sure if this is based on you know my own you know hash rates let's have a little look at this so this is what the the mining bat file actually looks like. No, notice the error connecting. That's just purely because I, uh, you know, I keep pulling out my uh, Ethernet cable from my computer by accident. But aside from that fact, I'm getting around about four 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 kilo hash. I have seen it a little bit higher than that. And this is a Ryzen seven thirty seven hundred X. As I say, I do have two other CPUs riding riding on this at the moment. Um, but yeah, I do find it a little bit weird. You know exactly you know how it's hashing how it's calculating and how it's letting me know exactly what i'm getting paid but one thing i did notice for when i did leave it on for over 12 hours that one period of time is that when i came back to my trade over wallet i noticed that i received a payment let me just go back so i received a payment of 003 and that 003 oh sorry that 0.03 is 13 cents now that would have been around about one cent per hour for something that i haven't you know that i wasn't even on for that long so you know in in the first few hours it definitely showed huge potential huge huge potential um but i haven't seen it kick out as much money as it did originally because as you see if it paid me 0 0.03 last time and about 0 0.059 i'm kind of you know halfway there but actually i did put more you know rigs onto there put more cpus on there so i should have kind of or or i would have assumed you know i would have accumulated more you know from it because of that right but let's take a look over here let's have a look see if the difficulty or anything like that has changed so is there a difficulty tab on this one no there isn't oh yeah there is okay so as you can see since the june the 9th june the 10th even june the 11th it has completely just flatlined as far as that difficulty so i'm just jumping in just trying to just grab just ever so slightly a little bit of it uh i can't see why why not and from the looks of it the coin itself is worth you know four point you know four dollars fifteen so that's not that's you know that's not the, the, the like a zero bottom dollar you know coin that's you know is worth point point you know zero 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 six you know this is actually not too bad cryptocurrency that's already got you know a reasonable you know starting price for it but let's have a look at the hash rate and as I say, on the 18th, when I did my previous video, I did notice that it did, you know, spike up huge. So as you can see there, it's not really showing any more uh, data for, you know, for the past few days, which is, you know, common. But as I say, guys, this did pump up just ever so slightly. But let's take a look over here at back at the pool. And as you can see there, in total for the 24 to, let's say, maybe potentially 26 hours worth of you know mining let's have a look at the deposit see if there's anything on its way in uh no there's nothing on its way in it already has been paid in okay 
do have some meow coin on its way though um, but let's take a look back at the balance so in total for give or take 25 hours with three three CPUs running 28 24 cents I do want to give this a little bit more time before I fully you know judge this coin on you know for this specific you know time because I put more you know hash rate on there and I would expect that hash rate to you know to slowly you know kick itself you know back out as soon as it can do so fingers crossed for it and you know that, that it does you know have a little bit more movement you know in the actual amount of coin because like I said the difficulty is down at the moment and then two also you know movement in the actual coin price itself but as I say at this moment in time there's not many people mining it and I'm gonna keep mining just an ever so slight amount of it until just until something else pops up to say that that's the most profitable coin for me to mine at the moment but I, but I am aware that there is more profitable coins to mine like um, you know Raptarium and Bitterium and I think Bitorium you know this specific moment in time but as I say I'm just collecting a little bit of Bagadero just because I have a weird feeling about it and I do feel like it's it's doing pretty well and the potential for it is is there okay guys thank you very much for watching this video if you do like this type of content and you did take anything from this video then please do make sure to drop us a like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace